Graeme, you're very welcome to Leinster Rugby. Uh, you're here a couple of days. What are your first impressions? I've been very impressed, Mark. It's a good facility and the people are very enthusiastic. I, I feel very welcome. Um, it's great to be involved in the game. I've got a passion for it and every time I get involved I get pretty stimulated. Um, and as I say, I'm, I'm been very impressed with the enthusiasm of the group uh, to get things right and you know, keep on improving. And obviously this morning we're at Greystones for the Bank of Ireland uh, open session. Uh, great to see so many young supporters out supporting the lads at an open session. Yeah, they tell me there's 500 young people playing this club and they've got four senior teams and a women's team. So it's obviously they're doing the job in this part of the world. It's, it's great to see all those kids play. You just speaking earlier about uh, enjoying your time in Leinster, obviously, but enjoying your time in Ireland. You've been here before, obviously, with Wales, etc. Um, so it's a place you like coming to. Yeah, good people. Irish. Do you know that, Marcus? I'm familiar, all right. With yeah, them. yeah, yeah. They're good people, so you always feel comfortable. Uh, there's good crack. And, uh, you know, I've been here with the Welsh team for a, few, a couple of tests and the All Blacks, I'd probably two or three times. And when I coached the Lions, I came over here and spent some time with. Uh, with some people over here, so no, I've been over a number of times and always felt comfortable and enjoyed it. Enjoyed the people. For you and for Leinster, what's the hope by the end of the two weeks? What do we hope to get out of it? Well, I think you know my job is to try and assist the coaches to get better. You know, like two young coaches in particular, haven't had a lot of experience. It's a big ask for young coaches to be coaching at this level. So, if I can assist them in how they coach the game, it will, that'll be a real positive. And then to look at the team and what they're trying to do and is the ways that we can do that better. Um, and I think there is, you know, and, and so if I can get, leave with those sort of things cemented in and, and things to progress those things, that will be a positive. This isn't the first time you've done a similar role, you did it with Argentina as well. You obviously enjoy still being involved in rugby on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I, I, as I say, I get a buzz when I'm involved in rugby. It's part of me, part of the blood. Um, so I, I enjoy, the, the, enjoy the challenge. And when you've coached for 45 years, hopefully you know a wee bit about the game and coached at all those levels. So you pick up things as you go along, which are the most important things to concentrate on because there's all sorts of things you can touch and probably might not make a lot of difference. But if you concentrate on the big rocks, you can see a big improvement in a very quick time. And you look at, you know, just one example is the ability to just stay square on the pass. That's probably the best way to explain it. So you're not taking up space and you're, and you're fixing defenders. Now, if rugby teams can do that, they're going to create with their numbers and score tries. So that's, a, that's an example. If we can improve that basic skill of catch pass and stay square, um, you're going to have a better result. You're very welcome to Lancer Rugby and I hope you enjoy your stay here. Thank you, Graham. Thank you.